Someone came to me maybe a month ago and said, hey, um, we've got a Heidelberg still in the press. That is the Heidelberg, which is like the Rolls Royce of printing machines, you know. And um, we want to set it up and print a daily newspaper throughout the festival. Uh, and this is, of course, the caster, the type casting um, intertype machine. From the molten lead, hot metal words come out the other end, lines of words. It's really an early mechanical computer, in essence. Developed and invented by newspaper men in New York um, in the late 19th century. And it's a completely mad idea, really. I mean, um, the scale of getting this equipment here, getting it all working, getting the right people in to run it, and getting 15,000 sheets off every night is a logistical kind of nightmare. Yeah, I would have dreamed of taking a job on like that in real life. So the first side is printed, it, we can print 3,000 an hour. The first side is printed for five hours um, in the late evening. And then the second side, the backing up side, is printed during the night. And then we get it on the folding machine um, early morning, so it's ready for 10 o'clock in the morning. The printing's gone really well. So the newspaper idea um, worked on its stem, but it's also evolved into something quite creative really with, with the poster work which we weren't really expecting to happen. This was the very first poster I set and printed and I guess it took um, a couple of weeks to lay out and to get used to setting type. Yeah, I mean the idea of the press is just to give people a chance to walk around and um, see how printing by hand is, is done really. And people can walk around and, and, and come in and see the machines working and um, see people setting. The main reason why I, why I love letterpress and using letterpress and why I think the crowds of people are here is because the person is involved in the whole process from the start to the finish which, which you can't get with a computer or any kind of print production. I think it's the, the hands-on, having um, the power and control over what one is doing, you know. So from the initial design stages you're picking out pieces of type, your ideas in front of you, you're composing your idea, you're, you're thinking about your various letter spacings in terms of a, a solid object instead of a computer typing in your um, letter spacing and it, and it doing it automatically. And like all crafts it does take time setting but it's physical of course satisfying and you get a unique um, layout and design. And I think that's what people really respond to well, you know, um, especially young people. Then they can get it on the press, they're thinking about it the whole time, they're rolling their ink out, choosing the colours, uh, choosing the amount of ink, the amount of impression, the kind of paper they want to use, and they're in control the whole time. I think that's what people really respond to in a positive way, and I think that's why it's kind of, kind of addictive to some people. So, um, but that's why I love it anyway.